just quickly so you can see the results within EMEA. I don't know who, uh, uh, who in the room was aware that uh, Acer is number one within the EMEA region. So that's obviously stretching from uh, Russia all the way down to us in South Africa. Quickly going to move on to the worldwide stats so you can see. Total PC market, you can see us uh, clear, uh, clearly winning in uh, the number two spot. So that's uh, desktops, notebooks combined. And um, jostling for the number one spots in worldwide mobility with uh, the guys in red there. So, um, sorry, the guys in blue. It's uh, HP. So we uh, have been very successful. If you look at the, uh, the growth that we've had uh, within the mobile space, it's a big portion of our overall uh, revenue, 70% contribution, key focus area for, for ASIC. What are our goals for 2011? So uh, quite clear we want to be the worldwide number one in mobility. How are we going to achieve that? Um, is through our strategy efficient uh, OPEX management. So obviously uh, affecting our, our cost structure, making sure that we have a very competitive offer to market. The other, uh, obviously, is the R&D invest. We will invest uh, very heavily in a comprehensive uh, line of products, but not just in the traditional lines. We'll also take initiative and pioneer new areas. And uh, we can see that in some of the products. So I'll show you the Icon uh, Iconia tablet, dual screen tablet. That's a completely new niche product and pioneering in its particular field. On the smartphone side as well, we have a product where we've taken a touchscreen device as well as a Blackberry type keyboard, a rim type keyboard, and integrated the device. So we're pioneering in the mobile space. We're not just following, but leading with innovative products. And obviously the third pillar within the strategy is growth. And that's key in, uh, in achieving our uh, goal of number one in mobility worldwide and growth and how we're going to achieve that growth is through the partners in the room today. You guys are a key, um, uh, key in driving those results. It's also important to mention that ACER is 100% channel centric. We have absolutely no direct capability whatsoever and rely completely on the channel to uh, sell our products. So what we try and do is offer a um, comprehensive product portfolio for you to deliver to the various channels and we rely 100% on you to deliver our products to end users. One of our pillars here is uh, Acer Education. Um, we've, uh, in the EMEA region, we've run a pilot here on education and uh, this is a key area for growth for us and probably uh, very near and dear to the South African market as well. Education is key and uh, we've got comprehensive product solutions for the education market here. Depicted in the slide behind me is a, a classroom managed by the Acer suite of products from netbooks, projectors, smart boards, a full education solution from a hardware point but also integrating um, the right software packages for, to, for the products to be utilized correctly within that environment. So we partnered with a company called NetSupport and we've offered a full solution using the various add-ons, uh, the hardware, um, the software together to provide a full solution uh, for Clashroom. You may have noticed in the original slide I had uh, a couple of other brands that were, were mentioned there, Paco Bell, Gateway, um, and eMachine. So these are these brands all fall within the uh, ASA group of product portfolio. We have in South Africa the Paco Bell brand, which is uh, purely a consumer brand for retail, um, sort of targeting the high-end markets, looking at uh, a uh, really neat design to target customers looking for a, a superior aesthetically looking device. Uh, and that's where the Packet Bell niche is, so a consumer product. In various other countries around the world, they also use the Gateway brand in that capacity. But for our region in EMEA, Gate Gateway is a professional professional uh, brand. We're looking at servers, storage, and client devices, but for the uh, corporate enterprise and public sector markets. E-Machine is our value brand of product, so we're looking at uh, sort of a vanilla type chassis, but uh, great specs and price. So it does fall as one of our, one of our key offerings, but uh, sort of a no frills, no fuss type product, really a value offering uh, for SMB and for consumer. And then as you can see behind me in green, we've got Acer, which is basically a, a product that stretches from consumer with our Aspire brand, as well as uh, Travelmate and Timeline X. So Travelmate being our professional, uh, professional product, uh, Aspire being our consumer, and then uh, Timeline X on consumer and professional, um, offering an eight-hour battery solution for consumer or professional. The Aspire brand is something that hasn't been uh, accessible by a traditional channel in the past, and this is something that now is accessible to everybody in the room. Um, very, very big brand for Acer. It's basically our um, premium consumer offering 
And um, that is uh, actually uh, on the way, Tony. So uh, uh, Rectron does have that coming in. And we're very excited about uh, the Aspire product now being open to the full channel. The product portfolio, see mobility from smart handheld netbooks, um, desktops, we included gaming machines, the Predator machines, LCDs, uh, desktop corporate desktops, all-in-ones, uh, projectors, and uh, you can see uh, some digital uh, entertainment devices as well. Details on the netbooks, is just to show the wide range of offering that we have here, the color, the colors that are offered, and the range of netbooks. This is something that a lot of people are, are not confused about, where does the netbook, uh, netbook fit into the market. Even with the introduction of tablet product, we don't believe that this product is going to be uh, phased out in any way. We still see an excess of 13% uh, growth at least worldwide with this particular product. So um, we can see quite a large amount of R&D going here. We still dominate in this space worldwide and we want to continue to dominate in that space. We've actually had a phenomenal success with one of the products here. The Happy Series, you can see the, the, the bright, uh, bright colors there. Uh, very successful in South Africa. In fact, it kind of revived the, um, the netbook market in December. We uh, found that these netbooks were outselling notebooks at the same price. So there's uh, quite an exciting, uh, quite an exciting product. Uh, the color is very, very, very well received. And uh, later this year, we actually see a refresh of this product coming in uh, sort of the May, June time frame, which is the uh, Happy Series 2. That's shipping e-machines. I quickly mentioned that uh, that is a vanilla type chassis aimed at a specific customer. Um, a great value product, um, speeds and feeds, but also with a consumer look and feel, which is, uh, also goes across to the SMB space. But uh, obviously a, a key part of our range. Today obviously people are looking for a, a product that gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Um, and this we believe is a... a this we believe is the right product for that segment. If you're looking for the, the price conscious consumer, price conscious customer, this is the right product um, for their needs. So no manageability, no frills, but basic OS and all the spe uh, hardware spec that they could require. So something very, very simple, no dock docking capability, um, but still, you know, if you're going to use the device for going from meeting to meeting, basic, all that functionality is all there. You know, really, uh, and simple chassis, so we've got a 15.6 offering and a 17 inch offering within this uh, within this range. This slide which shows you the new design of the e-machine. Uh, we're very uh, happy and excited about this. I personally saw it uh, um, and really happy with the refreshed look and the ID. So quite, uh, quite new, quite funky and um, planning to have great success with this. I mentioned uh, that the Aspire brand was open to the channel and to all of our uh, customers here tonight. Um, here you can see a very broad range of Aspire products ranging from uh, our ethos, which is our premium uh, premium uh, consumer offering with an 18-inch 18, uh, 18 screen, all the way down to our uh, um, uh, uh, entry-level uh, Aspire products as well. But uh, form factors 18.4, 17.3, 11.6, 14 inch and 13.3. So a very comprehensive offer across the range of uh, Aspire products. Also available in multiple colors. So that's also something that's quite nice. This is, these colors are selected based on consumer feedback. So that's not something that somebody just uh, sort of puts a whole lot of, uh, puts a paintbrush down and guesses the color. This is feedback from end users and very, very uh, sort of designed around the customer needs. But target to that, particular customer needs. So is we've taken a sort of a reverse approach. What is a customer need? What are they looking for? And reverse engineered that to find the right products for the customer rather than taking a, a product and forcing it into the market and may not solve or uh, meet the customer's requirements. So I think we've really taken the right approach here. Gone to customers. What are you looking for in a mobile device? What do you want? And then build products based on that and brought those to market. So really the right way in the product uh, management life cycle addressing customer needs and that's what we've done here with the Aspire product. On the professional side, how do we differentiate our products? You know, uh, we've got a notebook, 2 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive, the same operating system, 15.6. What's the difference between the different notebooks? And it's very clear that we try and differentiate by adding value 
And that's something that we need to we need to talk a little bit about. It's very really important. What is different about a notebook? Is it a notebook? A notebook is a notebook. It's just a different badge. That's not the case. There's a lot of value inherent in the product if you dig past the surface. And I think that's what's important to mention today. And we've got four pillars that we focus on to differentiate our product from our competitors. And one of those is security, excellence with time to market technology. Um, so if we didn't have a, a little Sandy Bridge recall, we should be first to market with that type of technology. Even now that the new Sandy Bridge platforms are shipping, we have them, we've qualified them, and those are shipping now as well. So time to market with new technology, security, very high on the, uh, on the list for, uh, for customers and end users, reliable, you want a reliable and a manageable device in a larger, uh, in a larger environment, and then of course, very important, uh, uh, very top topic for South African government officials and large corporates is uh, eco-friendliness. What are we doing from a what are we doing from a, a carbon footprint point of view and the way that we uh, use our supply chain? What are we doing in terms of the uh, power supply to diminish the use of uh, electricity? You know, ESCOM having their problems. It's important to uh, make sure that we have a very efficient uh, product as well as making sure that the product itself can be recyclable. Uh, you can see quite a wide range of products um, with accessories and a wide range from 17.3 to 11.6 in our offering as well. So really design, you've got the right product for whichever customer customer need within the corporate that you, that you have. Quickly around desktops, we have a, quite a wide variety of products. Also three key areas we focus on, manageability, technology and the form factor. The uh, form factor of the products going from all-in-ones, we have a 9 litre, 16 litre, 30 litre and then we have a 1 and 3 litre box as well. So a very wide range within the desktop. Just to position the products on the consumer side and e-machine, you can see uh, how we've moved from a, a high-end gaming machine offering different form factors for your standard uh, um, repetitive type work, uh, call centre, reservation centre device um, and then obviously the full all-in-one uh, solution there on the, uh, on the right hand side. All in one being your touch, uh, touch devices, so touch, and also your non-touch devices. We have Aspire offerings as well as professional offerings, the professional operating system on an all-in-one. And that's the two spaces we're playing in, trying to dominate in the uh, touch space, the premium experience with the all-in-one, as well as in the non-touch space um, for all-in-one. We've got a very comprehensive offer there and uh, have been actually very, very successful in South Africa. Quite a lot of demand for this device, um, believe it or not. So, and we actually find as a result of this device, the desktop market actually has the only market that has an increasing ASP. So average selling prices are increasing on the desktop side, while in the notebook side you've got to sell sort of two to still meet the same amount of revenue that you did four years ago because of the declining AUP or ASP. Our smartphone range, uh, you can see very comprehensive, we've got uh, uh, integrated keyboards, touch devices, and obviously entry-level uh, smartphone devices. I wanted to mention that that is a new business unit within Acer, and uh, we've had quite good success within the EMEA. South Africa, I think, watch this space. It's something that we will be investing very, very heavily in. Okay, so I'm going to quickly move along to some new technology, something new, something new, exciting, something a little different. Okay, so there's something a little different. Um, you can see that we're really clearly looking to differentiate our product. And uh, Clearfire is a software package that will be shipping standard on all of our products and will allow you to use the devices to share entertainment and media files. So really uh, quite exciting. Just to show you how that basically works, you have your uh, living room PC, your home storage, your tablet device, your all-in-one PC, and you can share all of the contents digitally across the room, across a wireless network. And what's really nice about that, not only across multiple devices, but you can also do that across different operating systems as well. And I think that's what's unique about our offering, where some uh, proprietary solutions have to use the same operating system, and you're also locked, obviously, to that brand as well. We do our open, uh, work on an open standard, meaning that you can use non-Acer devices with Clearfire, but obviously your experience wouldn't be as good as with an Acer device because the client software is designed to work with all of our different devices. Acer Alive, and this is something that's not a lot, uh, available in South Africa yet, but we hope to have it up and running by the end of the year. This is a, sort of a store where all applications, music, movies, all of those kind of things, content, will become available to Acer customers. Um, it's not just an app store like Apple, it's a, a very comprehensive uh, store where all applications and media can be uh, procured through. So quite a nice experience for the end user. It's
It's available in the UK and in Italy today, so if you want to check it out, you can have a look. And uh, we're in discussions locally with the various media houses to get copyright approval to publish the stuff for South African customers as well. The hot topic at the market today is tablets. I think everybody's seen uh, with the launch of the Apple iPad, a huge amount of demand for this particular device and um, a lot of excitement and uh, you know what's happening to the market. I was in uh, France at the beginning of this year and we had our, uh, our global kickoff and our uh, president Jim uh, Franco stood up and said uh, something quite, uh, quite startling. It's not evolution like every other year. This is a revolution and we can see a whole host of new devices um, being developed and a whole host of new devices that are not maybe using the traditional processes or operating systems as well. And uh, he stated very clearly that this is a revolution. So we invested very heavily here and uh, we have a wide range of products uh, from Windows Home, tablet uh, offerings, Windows Professional. We'll also have Android offerings with Honeycomb. So Honeycomb being the new 3.0 uh, operating system specifically designed for tablets. We have 7 inch and we have uh, 4.8 inch which is a hybrid product running Gingerbread which is the previous generation of uh, Android operating system um, for the hybrid device. So we have quite a comprehensive range. We're going to have 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte modules. We've added also the SD capability so if you wanted additional storage you can do it with the device. We've got USB ports, you could use an external hard drive. These are some of the limitations of, uh, I don't want to bash a competitor, but Apple has been very, very, uh, um, very successful with the device, um, but there is limitations to the device. We've added the front and rear facing cameras, USB, so the SD card capability for additional storage has been added to the device. Also flash support, so there's quite a lot of um, uh, advantages to the Acer, the Acer tablet. Uh, we don't have those limitations. And then we have, uh, just quickly, the, the market growth here quite exciting and that's in millions of units just to show you so 2011 forecast according to the slide was 35 million devices this year in tablet devices and um, that's actually very low uh, low end the latest release from Kinetisys was over 55 million devices expected within the uh, tablet arena you can see that's uh, triple digit growth at 160 p uh, 160 percent netbook's still carrying on at 30 percent like I said it still has its niche um, which is going to be probably uh, the youth market, the elderly markets, and women, believe it or not, are the three key areas for netbook. What we've noticed from the trends, uh, trends on the, the end users uh, acquiring the devices, notebook's still quite healthy at 34%, and then uh, smartphone, smartphone devices, that's 320 million uh, devices per year uh, at 29% growth. So, um, very key areas, as you can see, we're investing in the mobile smartphone market, and tablets, obviously, the, the hot topic at the moment, so massive, massive growth.